Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update on what is happening across the Western Atlantic. And so I hope that you're all having a really wonderful Sunday thus far, a great start to the week. And so we'll be taking a look at what is expected over the next several days in terms of the precipitation totals as well as those wave heights and even a cool down that is uh, going to be uh, bringing some impacts to the region. So a friend is going to be exiting the U.S. and it will be making its way into parts of the Caribbean and thus inducing some changes. And so we're going to be taking a look at all of that. But before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so let's go ahead and kickstart things with a current view of the Caribbean. So we're looking at the infrared satellites and we can see here that there isn't too much happening. And usually when we have more shower and thunderstorm activity, we would see more of the yellows, reds. Uh, so it'll be a more colorful map here, but we're not seeing anything much going on right now. But there is definitely some activity moving from the east that is potentially going to be bringing in some overcast skies and maybe brief showers to parts of the northern Caribbean including parts of the Leeward Islands, uh, Puerto Rico and also into the Dominican Republic and Haiti so Hispaniola right there and then as for some other regions such as Jamaica uh, we see that cluster of clouds so that might bring some overcast skies and even pop-up showers across parts of the island and we actually see some thunderstorm activity just off Cuba but that is is offshore and not bringing impacts to anywhere so nothing major is happening across the basin as of right now and so what is going to be happening throughout the week let's first take a look at what is expected in terms of rainfall activity so we're going to be looking at the GFS and Euro uh, on the total accumulated precipitation map uh, for each model here and so we're seeing that for the GFS we have the different colors uh, that are being shown here on screen and over to the right side is where we have different values beside each shade and that is to show how much rainfall the different colors or shades are indicating for the various areas and so we see that as we head to the greens go into the blues and then the shades of purple that is increase in totals expected and this is between now and the middle of this week on Wednesday the 8th of February. So this isn't something that is uh, for just today alone but rather for the next few days. So we're seeing that the most rainfall is expected in the southern Caribbean just offshore of Costa Rica and Panama right within that region. We also see some of those uh, lighter blue shades in parts of Trinidad and Tobago as well as the tip of Venezuela also for Guyana, Suriname and French Guiana down there. We definitely see that, that more rainfall totals are expected within those areas uh, as we head over into other parts of Central America going to Belize, Honduras, the western, uh, the eastern coast of Nicaragua. We see some of those blue shades there and we also see some of that for uh, parts of eastern Hispaniola and eastern Puerto Rico and not much being seen for Cuba, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Haiti, and parts of the Lesser Antilles. So uh, maybe just as I said earlier, some brief showers here and there, and that is going to be the general trend. Nothing too intense as of right now. However, as we're going to be progressing into the next couple of weeks, going to April, May, things are going to likely make a change as we're going to be heading into the rainy season, at least for Jamaica. But March is typically the driest month month of the year. So that is what the GFS model is expecting. As we look at the Euro model, Euro is not showing that much rainfall expected across the southern uh, the southern Caribbean and also in the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago. We're seeing less totals expected here. So uh, this is indicating that the model is expecting decreased rainfall activity uh, activity for some of these areas with the least amount of rainfall for uh, portions of Cuba, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, going over to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, the Leeward Islands, and also parts of the ABC Islands and Windward Islands. So that is what the Euro is expecting. And now let's go ahead and talk about that 
a cooldown that is impending. So we're going to be looking again at the two models starting out with the Euro this time around. And of course, where we have the uh, blue shades as we head to the darker blues and that purple shade, that is indicating below normal temperatures. And as the shade gets darker, uh, it's going to be pretty much cooler. And we have how much degrees Celsius below normal the different shades indicate. However, the warmer colors such as those oranges, yellows, reds, that is indicating above average temperatures. But we're going to be focusing on a cool down for the Caribbean. So we're looking for those uh, shades of blue here. And so again, starting out with the Euro model and we see that as we're going to be heading into next Sunday, going into Monday, we see all of those blues. So that is in association with a front that is expected to make its way from the US. And so we see that uh, it's majority of the Western Caribbean that's going to be feeling impact. So the Eastern Caribbean isn't going to be feeling as much uh, change in temperature as the Western Caribbean will. So we're talking about areas in the Western Caribbean such as Cuba, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, the Yucatan, Belize, uh, most of Central America at that. So all these areas are likely going to be experiencing cooler temperatures and of course in elevated regions or the more hilly areas, the temperature will be lower there so again that is as we're going to be heading into the start of next week around sunday monday and even tuesday and this could even linger as we head to the middle of next week but of course guys as we head throughout this week i'll be keeping you posted on what is expected as we take a look at what the gfs anticipates so the gfs is expecting that we're definitely going to have that massive cool air coming down and affecting some areas but the gfs does not show it as persistent as the euro does so not expecting that this will be something very persistent within the area and so with this front making its way down it is going to be resulting in that wind shift and uh, let's also go ahead and talk about those wave heights so we're looking at this uh, significant wave height map here from the GFS and this is in feet again we have the different colors showing the height in feet over to the right side of your screen so let's go ahead and take a look at what this map is showing here so as we head throughout this week we definitely see that those higher waves will be in the southern caribbean due to the interaction uh, with that high pressure however as we head into next week when we have that front making its way down from the u.s uh, there we definitely see that wind shift because the arrows indicate uh, the direction from which the wind is blowing so we have that wind shift across the Western Caribbean and we're also seeing some more significant wave heights accompanying that front as it makes its way down. So with that front and those strong winds is going to come those higher waves guys so that is what is expected and of course guys as i said i'm going to be keeping you updated once it is necessary as we head throughout this weekend that is really it for right now and so if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be with wise